Welcome to Lanyap, a program about events, issues, and people. I'm Corey Crow. I'm here today with Paul West. He's the executive director of Nova. Paul, thanks for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Well, first, uh, let's jump right in. There may be some folks out there who are wondering, what the heck is Nova? Uh, Tell me a little bit about your organization. Nova Workforce Institute of Northeast Louisiana. New opportunities, vision, and achievement. We are a what they call a workforce intermediary. Simply, we work with employers, our training providers, and individuals that are 18 or older that have a high school diploma or GD, trying to get them into a career path that can give them a living wage job, employment, uh, with benefits. So we're helping. It's a, a lot of times Miss Woods, my co-worker in the call, says it's a three-legged stool. You know, we're employers. Uh, we're identifying and addressing those workforce needs. Then we're working our way back with our educational and training providers like uh, ULM, Delta Community College, OIC, and others, and providing the skills and the education necessary to help individuals get those skills, get the training of jobs and industry that we know is in need of. You've got a graduation uh, commencement ceremony coming up Thursday night at the Greater New Antioch Baptist Church. I want to ask you, and I I asked you earlier uh, before we went on the air a little bit about this, uh, you've always got folks in motion uh, coming through the program, but what kind of area does NOVA serve? and from a land standpoint, we serve northeast Louisiana, which Washita is our hub, uh, but northeast Louisiana, we're primarily right now in Morehouse, East and West Carroll, Madison and Richland parishes, uh, Tensaw as well at times. So we serve that northeast Louisiana corridor and uh, providing, we have satellite sites in different locations, but our main base is here in Monroe, uh, also working with other entities like the Monroe Housing Authority and others. A lot of times these are folks that um, have not gone uh, on to college or VOTEC or anything like that, uh, and they need a little extra help in uh, getting the skills they need to get where they need to be, right? They do. And our average age, uh, believe it or not, our average age is around 35 years old. A lot of times individuals have uh, gone through life and uh, they've been – maybe had some challenges uh, sometimes that have they just had to overcome but they're at a point in life where they're thinking we got to make a go of it now and they're they're people walking our door are very serious about uh, their future and what they uh, want to be able to try to do and so we're there meeting them and I, I was going to say this for last but this is what we give them we give them h2o when they walk in our doors you got to have water to sustain life well, we give them hope we give them help, and then we give them opportunity. Let's talk a little bit about um, the impact uh, that has on the community that, the, and I guess even the taxpayer. You think about these folks um, are getting productive and uh, becoming uh, taxpaying citizens and working hard, right? Absolutely. Uh, our participants, uh, graduates, uh, contribute heavily into the uh, tax base here, not just locally but nationally as well. We've served over 2,400 individuals in the 16 years uh, that we've been in operation. We placed over 1,300 in, in jobs, majority of those living wage. But the key thing is the cumulative, projected cumulative wages of those individuals is some $32 million annually, $32 million if everyone's still in the workforce today. That's a huge impact. Uh, not only uh, locally but regionally to our community. And it, and we really say in our um, mission and vision, we grow the economy uh, by strengthening our workforce. And so we feel like it's an economic impact through getting people because we know if we get can get an individual the skills, get them productive, get them in the workforce, a good employee helps a business thrive and be successful and a good successful business uh, is the making for a great economy. You uh, seem like you your group is a good uh, return on an investment. Five to one, every dollar invested into Nova, there's a $5 back in wages, through wages, uh, back into our community. So, yes, it's a tremendous impact. We couldn't do it. We've got a community through Interfaith, through our board, our advisory, our great staff, and a community leaders that have really embraced this concept of Nova. 
I guess a lot of times, too, it's not just going out and getting a job. It's uh, a lifestyle and um, managing your finances. Uh, do you offer coaching and things like that to keep people on the, the right track? We do. We not only try to get them into the workforce, but we also get them into uh, the Financial Opportunity Center, as we call it. Uh, once they get in that workforce, they need to if they need to be able to manage their skills, coaching, counseling, credit building. So we're we're trying to develop that whole person, and we start with the career readiness as they come in our door. So to get them the base of what they need to be successful in the, going out and looking for employment. Now, not everybody goes through the same thing at Nova. I guess there are different tracks uh, depending on the the needs and the skills. Absolutely, uh, we have you know we our base again is career readiness. But we end up, uh, you know, getting them into that career pathway that really aligns with what the business and industry needs and that individual as well. I'm just curious, um, the, um, the um, graduation coming up Thursday night, what are these people uh, going off to do? What's the hot career right well, now? Well, health care is huge. Uh, so we'll see a lot of health care, your manufacturing, customer service uh, areas, just a lot of different. we got a training starting tomorrow with Delta and an employer we're working with as well. It's a machining training. It'll be a nine-week training. Uh, and we've got a host of other things as well. Uh, so we, we're in different avenues with people as they're coming in into those c different career pathways. Uh, but they can call us at 855-1923, or they can come out tomorrow night at uh, the Greater New Antioch Baptist Church over on Shiraz Avenue. Uh, it starts at 6 o'clock, uh, I said tomorrow night, Thursday night, uh, June the 13th. And so if you've ne ever been to a graduation, I guarantee you, you won't be ever to one like this one and a great celebration novanila.org that's the website you can find out uh, about uh, nova and their programs paul uh, for folks to uh, learn more about you and and what's coming up is there a facebook page or somewhere on the internet absolutely they can go to novanila.org and uh that we are on facebook uh we're on we've got a web uh page as well website uh certainly go to that so novanila.org or 855-1923. 855-1923. Paul West, the Nova commencement ceremony going on Thursday night at Greater New Antioch Baptist Church, 301 Shirouse in Monroe.